Welcome to the United States of America. Huh? In 400 meters, turn right onto US 89 South. I've been hearing symphonies. So what you're seeing outside of Savannah's window is Montana. We made it through the border and now we're on American <laughs> soil. <laughs> and we're heading to our next camping spot. Here we are in Glacier National Park. We had to get here quite early because there's a queue up to get into the, uh, into the campgrounds. Last night we stayed at a, at a hostel just in a town. It was a terrible, terrible sleep. Anyway, we got here at 7 o'clock. It's about 8 now. We're still in the queue, so hoping to get a camping spot. That's the queue of cars here. To your heartbeat When you're gone I feel incomplete So if you are After setting up camp this morning, we uh, just had a, we had the morning off and uh, this afternoon we've decided to go on a little a shorter trail. This is the St. Mary's Trail and it just follows this lake along which is St. Mary's Lake and it takes us to St. Mary's Falls. So we're going to Bering Falls first and then on to, onwards to St. Mary's Falls. You gotta take a look at this. Entering grizzly country. Of disaster with our last hike it was a bit longer than what we expected because we parked in the wrong parking lot so we had to hike an extra couple of kilometers both ways and battery my camera went flat and uh, we thought it was about to rain so we had to run back to the car we ran for about half an hour which wore us out and it means that this this hike here we're not going to do because it's just getting a little bit too late but we're driving along a road called Going to the Sun Road, uh, which runs through Glacier National Park, and it's spectacular. Today we've hiked the Grinnell track which takes us up to uh, Grinnell Glacier as well as Upper Grinnell Lake uh, along Grinnell Mountain um, actually. 
this is the top of it here. But what you'll see behind me, we've got uh, one glacier there, that's Salamander Glacier. That is uh, Grenard G Glacier. This is Upper Grenard Lake. And that mountain, uh, or, or that peak there, is actually the Continental Divide. <laughs> So this here, that's blossoming, this is bear grass, whose name is a bit of a misnomer because bears don't feed on them, nor are they part of the grass family, they're actually part of the lily family, I think. But... We've left Glacier now, we've driven through most of Montana, which includes the Great Plains, and that's a massive difference between Glacier National Park, which is quite spectacular, and Great Plains, which are pretty plain actually. <laughs> pretty plain. <laughs> they weren't that bad. I don't think it is the Great Plains. It's it's not that flat. We're still hilly. <laughs> anyway. So we saw what did we see up there? We saw a moose, that was cool. We saw a moose a couple of times actually. On the trail, we saw a moose. We saw a moose feeding in the water, so they actually get in the lake, they stick their head underwater and they feed off of the seaweed. No, the water plants. The There's water plants. They feed off the water plants. <laughs> <laughs> and we saw, um, we saw some buffalo. We saw bison. We saw some bighorn <laughs> rams on the mountainside. Lots of ground squirrels. Um, lots of ground squirrels. So it's the Colombian ground squirrel, which is bigger than the usual red and grey squirrels. So there was this guy rolling around in the dirt. That was fun to see. Savannah discovered something. What did you discover, Sav? Remember? At the end of yesterday. I have no idea what you're talking about. In your shoe. A tea bag. <laughs> in her shoe. <laughs> she'd, she'd hiked all day with a tea bag in the shoe. <laughs> 